Hi guys, this is the Idaho Picker. And actually, um, this is going to be a message to uh, October Rains. And, um, you know, uh, well, you know what I'm wanting to talk about yeah, a little bit anyways. And uh, I've got Bill here with me. Uh, and uh, we're on Skype having a chat. And, and uh, we're just trying to figure out a few things. Um, so what this video is going to be about is us figuring out a few things and asking you about it. And then... Secondly, um, I need a favor. You know, when this first happened, I was, um, of course, I was a little mad at you, right? But then I kind of thought about it a little bit, and I thought, well, hey, you know, he's he's got some skills. Um, instead of working against this guy, I went on to see if I can't work with him, because I did need to get that warrant taken care of, right? So after I go through something here with you, I want to I want to ask you for a favor, see if you're willing to do that for me, right? Um, the uh, what what I wanted to discuss, and me and Bill have been talking about and stuff was the what went down that night. You know when uh, when you showed the uh, the video, you know, well you contacted me on my channel and you uh, said I got something for you, and and I responded like, what do you got? You know. See, uh, one thing you need to know is I wasn't calling you on. Um, I was getting ready to leave. And uh, and then I responded again, you know, I'm waiting or something like that. And it was because I was waiting because I was getting ready to leave. It wasn't that I was actually calling you on that night. Um, you remember all that, don't you, Bill? Because me and you were talking about it and everything. When it all went down and everything. And then... Uh, and then, of course, you did the video, you know, October Rains, uh, with the um, showing where you'd gotten my IP address. And, uh, you know, you sent the uh, YouTube message to the police department, and they were able to check their YouTube channel uh, for messages and be here within a short period of time, right? 23 minutes or whatever it was, right? Which is quite amazing. Yeah. And so, what made me wonder the most after I got over being a little pissed off was how you were able to do that. Well, um, technically, I'm not that far from the police station, okay? And technically, if there was someone who happened to get that message right away, uh, and Bill, he called uh, New York City, the New York City Police Department, and, and spoke to them, and they said it was technically possible, but so, they even said something about they would have to be multiple agents. <coughs> multiple agencies involved which was a little strange so obviously you're connected there October so now here was the interesting part they didn't come to my house they didn't come to where the IP address was coming from see I left remember I told you I was I was getting ready to leave um, I left and I was about Let's just say I was down the road a ways, okay? And I went to a, a bar to meet a friend. And while I'm at the bar there, meeting a friend, you know, four big cops, big as me. I'm 6'2", 260, and four of them came in big as me. And uh, tapped me on the shoulder, you know? And uh, so... I mean, even with the long braids I had in, I had braids down to my butt. They knew exactly who I was, where I was at, exactly. So, what I'm wondering is, how you pulled that off? You know? Are you that well connected? You know? That is actually a pretty good question. That is a pretty good question. I mean, because see, you had my IP address, but you didn't have my phone number. I've never spoken to you. So how did that go down there, October? You know, you don't have to do a video and explain. You can just leave a comment. I'm going to unblock you, okay? Because I did block you because I was pissed off. I'm not so pissed off now. I'm more curious. Your IP address uh, took um, to a bar, huh? To a bar, yeah. So uh, you live in a... Say what? Do you live at that bar? No, I don't live at the bar. When I was... Okay, I, I, was, I, you know, I just thought I'd ask that. When I was talking, Maybe no. When I was talking to October Rains in in the chat, I was sitting at home, you know, and and um, 
I had uh, not used a proxy or anything to upload a recent couple of recent videos and including the Justin Triple video where October Rain showed the address and and then he and then I went behind him and showed the uh, the actual location which you could get by doing the address. I, 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 think what, I think what pissed people off though was is that I use Screencast-O-Matic and it counts down it goes three two one go and when you stop and start the recording of that you know pause and then record because you're bringing in a new page or doing something or fixing something something's not working right sometimes what happens is, is that it'll go three two one and it hangs a little bit and it records the word go and it did that in that video and that was unintentional. I didn't mean the word go to show up at a time when I'm showing where they lived at. I wasn't necessarily insinuating somebody to go. But I was intending on putting pressure on them. Just like you were, October. You know? Just like uh, Monograph was. Just like 30 other channels were. You know? We wanted that guy and that girl gone. And they're gone now. Or at least off of YouTube, so far as we know, until he gets a hair and comes back and does it again some other way and thinks he can get better at it, you know, because between all of us, we smeared him. But back to what really trips me out is to how you located me at a bar. Can you share that with the class? You 23 know? minutes, so 23, 24 in, in 23 minutes. 23 minutes, yeah. It was, I mean, it's pretty amazing. You know, you're talking about mad skills. I mean, what... What I think address was that was used. It took him to the bar. Yeah, the IP address is my home IP address, the one he showed. That's the IP address here. Right. And uh, so the cops would have came to my house, but they didn't. They used my cell phone somehow to track me, which was very interesting. Um, they, uh, they, one of two things happened. Someone gave you my phone number, and the only people that have my phone number actually is, uh, well, Bill has my phone number. Uh, Dutch Sense has my phone number. Tattoo has my phone number. And Monograph and Chrissy have my phone number. The way they have it is because just a couple of nights before, I had called in to, um, uh, monograph and Chrissy's uh, Lies Wide Shut uh, radio show and I was chatting in the room that could have, and I didn't have a, a proxy server going didn't think I needed one and uh, my IP address could have been captured there very easily and then I called into the radio show and of course you've run a radio show before right Bill? Yes I have. And does it capture the phone numbers? Yes uh, you run a radio show I didn't have a bug to they called in. Their phone number shows up unless they specifically block the phone number. Okay. Yeah. It will show up. Yeah, I didn't block it. So the so the only other people that had it um, that I don't regularly talk to is Monty and Chrissy. Although I've talked to Chrissy a number of times on Skype, you know. And so I wondered, you know, you know, I know you and Monograph. Monograph says he's been your buddy for a long time. So did Monograph give you my number? I'm trying to figure out what happened here, okay? Because that was pretty friggin' impressive. So, now, with all that said, now I have a favor to ask of you, okay? So I want to show you, I want to see if you'll do this for me. And I'm asking you genuinely to do this for me, okay? You can just private message me. Um... You can email me at logicbeforeauthority at gmail, however you prefer. I want to know who three people's channels are. Show me how badass you are and show me you a good man. <coughs> okay. I went and took care of my stuff down there and I'm taking care of that. Okay. And I've come out and I've explained my situation in, in two videos. I've done what it's, what's hard to do, which is come out and tell the truth about things. So now I'm asking you to be a good man. Do me a favor. Show me who three people that own three channels are. Let me show them to you. So October here is the first one that I really want to know who this person is. I just want a name. Okay? Bob Gerke. The channel name is Bob Gerke. I'm going to put the link below. Okay? Um, as you can see, this channel 
is nothing but a troll channel for me, right? It's got tons of my videos on here, okay? And even recently, recent videos, just like when I came out and I, I put out a video saying that, uh, you know, I showed my criminal history, which is not criminal history other than a misdemeanor, right? It says, here are the links, and everyone, please watch out for this guy. I believe he is not in this for the right reasons and may have malicious intents. Really? <laughs> um, so, uh, Bob Gerke, I want to know who this is, October. Show me that you can use your tools for something good and help me out here. Okay? I'm not mad at you for what you did, but I'm asking you for a favor now. Okay? Now, let me show you another one. Kathy Drake, this channel. I'm going to put the link below for you, October. I want to know whose channel this is, okay? As you can see, talking about my the, the video I did on my criminal history, they stole my video, put it on their channel, okay? Um, they do this numerous times uh, with my videos, and they're always trolling the hell out of me, okay? So I'm asking you to tell me who this person is, October. Here's the last one. The good fight, my friend. Okay. Once again, as you can see right away, you can see that it's all about the Idaho Picker and Daniel Cannon and IdahoPicker.blogspot.com. You know, they got all my, what they think is all my trash on there, and they've got some fake videos of me watching porn. <laughs> Just everything. I mean, it's obviously fake if you look at it. But I wouldn't go over there if you're my viewer don't go over there and waste your time but if you want to go ahead you know I've showed you what I can show you um, so so like I said you know I'm not mad um, me and Bill and Bill put up a couple of videos in my defense which I do appreciate you know I know y'all guys went rounds at it a little bit but what he wasn't saying that he was what but what he knew was is that I didn't get arrested at my home he knew I got arrested at a bar down the street, so I had to be tracked by my cell phone. So that wasn't exactly what your video said, right? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't tell that. That was the surprise. And yeah, that was the surprise. I made yeah, comment about a surprise, you know, that you made a mistake. And what it was is that simply I was at the bar, okay, meeting a friend, having a Coca-Cola. And uh, Bill knew that because I had told him, you know. And I, I, I've ordered a copy of the police report. It hasn't come in yet, you know, because I was going to show that. But me and Bill got together and we decided to go ahead and have, uh, do this video. And I, I wanted to ask you for your help on identifying who the good fight my friend Kathy Drake and Bob Gerke are. Right. They I'm have, sure you want to get this report, you don't believe what you're saying right now. I believe that he'll probably show it to you just you don't want to believe him if you actually face him. Yeah. I think you will too, you know. Um I took it like a man, you know. So uh, now do a fellow YouTuber a favor. Show me who those three people are, October. You got anything else um, you'd like to say, um, Bill or anything? Well, I was just telling well actually you know, you've done your favor. Because you ain't got to look over your shoulders no more. Right. You don't got to look over He's saying I don't have to look over my shoulders no more. He's breaking up a little bit. So you guys probably, you know, he kind of did me a favor. I don't have to look over my shoulders anymore. And, and that's true. You know, when you got a warrant out there, you know, you kind of have to you have to look over your shoulders a little bit. It's a little uncomfortable sometimes. But, uh, but that's taken care of now, you know, and uh, going through the process of, you know, going through the corrupt criminal process. But I'm uh, getting it taken care of. But uh, we only got about 25 seconds left here. But uh, I hope that October that you'll take me serious and you'll you'll provide me with those three names. You got my email address. Hell, you've got my phone number. <laughs> you can text me, bro. Or you can uh, just send me a private message on my channel. I'm going to go and block you right now so you have the option to do that if you want to. 
Call me up if you want to. I don't care. However you want to do it. Let's do this. Talk to you soon.